It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Mondo Brewing Company and it's a can of All Together IPA. It's a 6.5% ABV ale in a 440 milliliter can brewed in collaboration or hosted by Other Half Brewing Company in New York. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Well, with other half brewing company involved, one of the great IPA, hazy IPA brewers in the world, what other type of beer would you expect? You're going to expect this, aren't you? A lovely, hazy looking, IPA, New England IPA if you like, two to three finger white head, but it's it's just put a natural smile on my face. Lovely looking beer, good levels of carbonation as you rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Without further ado, let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, straight away. Zesty, tropical, mango, papaya, passion fruit, bit of tangerine in there. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. And boom, boom, stone the crows, stone the crows, what a great beer. Mmm. Just mouthfuls of unlimited flavour, it's like the flavours want to go on forever. Really juicy, tropical, grapefruit, mango, papaya, passion fruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, beautiful flavours. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, a little bit of bitterness on the back end, fantastic balance on the beer. And the mouthfeel, that oaty, creamy mouthfeel that these breweries, they just get it right. They just add enough oats, some add a little bit of lactose or some wheat torrified wheat but generally it's oats if you were to brew a brew if i got brewing on the mind if you were to cook up some porridge in the mornings with some oats and uh, yeah of course they're porridge oats yeah and um, and you get that kind of creamy residue in the bottom of the the saucepan that creamy residue is is, is what makes the mouthfeel of this beer it's quite hard to clean out the pan you've got to let the pan soak all day even with a non-stick pan but it's that it's that creamy residue that from from the oats that that brings out that mouthfeel that beautiful creamy rich mouthfeel and you can see it you can see it in the look lovely and hazy to look at you can see it as you roll the beer around in the glass you can see that slight kind of delay as the beer's rolling round, you can see the carbonation chasing that head up the glass. A beautiful mouthfeel. It's a bit like when you get a really, really good top class imperial stout or, or a stout with lots of creamy rich mouthfeels. It just works for the style. And it's amazing really tropical and you don't get a hint of that 6.5% ABV alcohol by value not a hint of it it drinks like a juice we are all in this together hosted by other half brewing company um, a worldwide collaboration brewed to support hospitality professionals there we go um, well, we got the whole the whole Surgeon General stuff on the side of the can, so it's been brewed in 
in London, Stuart Road in London. But it's got the Surgeon General stuff. Pregnant lady shouldn't drive tractors sort of thing on the side of the can. And that's just to do with, it's probably sold all around the world this beer now. Certainly they're trying to sell it in America. Beautiful beer, great artwork on the back. I'm gonna rate it. I like this beer, I like it a lot, I really do. And I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a Stone the Crows nine out of ten so nine out of ten from real ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers